and we are back again uh, the PF sense right now made uh, his update where is it uh, he made his update and um <coughs> we're going to access the firewall so admin and that unknown password that I sometimes don't save and as you can check right now oops the PF sense uh, email already the is on the last update uh, so uh, what information do you have here um, you have uh, minor information about the CPU uh, usage memory swap disk and so on so on so on um, other stuff uh, first of all we don't have uh, is missing or they are missing two interfaces here so we come to the menu of interfaces and we have assignments and on assignments uh, we can check that both these interfaces are already uh, they are given a name LAN and one and you can add next interface and the name of the interface is OPT1 if you go direct directly to the to the shell of the PFSense you'll find out there is a OPT1 he has no IP address and again if you add the last one here uh, it will be OPT2 and you go again to the interface enter and right now you have OPT1 and OPT2 option 1 option 2 two interfaces that don't have yet an IP address and that's what we're going to, to do. We're going to give them an IP address according to our uh, network diagram. Uh, this will be OPT1 and this will be OPT2 um, and you we could do this on via via shell as we did for the first one but can also do and it is much easier if you work with a uh, graphical interface so we say save and right now you can click on OPT1 and OPT1 first of all we have to enable this interface so enable interface description uh, you can say right now this will be uh, F1 orange uh, Orange. Uh, IPv4 uh, uh, configuration. IPv4 configuration will be a static IPv4. Uh, it, it will not work with IPv6. Uh, we don't need to change the MTU or other stuffs. And here we can give the IPv4 IP. So it will be 172.166.10.254. The last part and we're going to uh, give 24 bits but if you check and there are there are some uh, security issues here regarding uh, if you give uh, a net mask of uh, 24 bits you, you are saying that you allow here the usage of 24 uh, 254 um, hosts and perhaps that's too much you should tie it this um, this network to a more uh, narrow network about uh, pff, I don't know 28 oh sorry 28 or even 29 depending how many hosts you will have on the DMZ if you have only one should should be 30 so it will be a point-to-point -point, uh, configuration not allowing no one else to uh, come here and uh, gain or work with another IP address. In this case we'll give only 24 bits just for a purpose uh, but it should be uh, slash 30 or slash 29 bits. So 24. Up, IPv4 up, uh, up, uh, upstream gateway. You, you don't have no gateway you're not going to block private uh, private networks and loopback addresses but in production you should you should do it should do it 
sorry after apply changes and after you applying those changes you can go here on the shell press enter and right now you'll find out you got f1 orange and the IP address that we just gave to that interface uh, so let's configure let's go back interfaces let's go to opt2 and on opt2 you say enable interface description we'll say f1 blue Uh, the IP, IP address will be a static IPv4 uh, and we'll give the IP address 10, 10, what, 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 what was it? 10, uh, 254 and also 40, 24 bits, there is 254 hosts available on this network. So we say save, apply and on pfSense, on the shell, now you check that we have another interface that is connected. Good. So, first of all, let's uh, discover what we have here. We have uh, on system advanced, uh, on advanced, um, first, how do you uh, access to the pfSense? We are accessing uh, via HTTP, so that's uh, uh, not secure connection since uh, if someone is on the network could capture our password and our username and so the best thing to do is to work with HTTPS but since uh, we are going to work with HTTPS the PFSense has already um, a web configurator default that is as a public key that uh, will send us to our browser to our computer uh, so it can create a s more secure S HTTP uh, SSL connection. Now the TCP port by default is 443. Uh, I would advise you to change this port to uh, another one. So uh, if some someone will try to um, discover the port, uh, at least it won't know uh, what and to what is connected. So 444. 443, for instance, ma mas uh, maximum process uh, will be two connections at the same time. Um, uh, enable app configuration login, message, anti lockout. This rule is a, a rule that we have on the firewall, which we'll, we'll check in a few uh, minutes and we'll find out that is quite useful. So don't remove it. Um, other stuff since the firewall will be on a data center at least uh, we also can enable secure shell and um, also we can change the SSH port to a different port for instance this one so when right now since we are working on virtual box the the PF sense is on our machine so we can access directly to the shell but on production that's not true and therefore you should enable secure SSH um, other uh, configuration it's possible to access to the PFSense also by a serial uh, terminal and do the configuration right now I'm going to save it and then we have firewall and NAT. Right now, is trying to connect by HTTPS, and our browser says that uh, this information, in this case the Mozilla, it is does not recognize the certify authority of this uh, public key. So we'll say if you s watch the certificate, we'll find out that the PFSense web 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 configurator self signed. Uh, so this is not uh, secure in terms that there is no uh, certify authority to sign it and to our browsers accept it so confirm security uh, and right now we can access using HTTPS so password don't save 
here on the top you can also check message uh, it says that you create this SSH KGen and the service started so mark all and breed and closed okay now here you can also check that uh, we've got the uh, interface they are connected uh, what else? Certify Manager. Here is where we create our um, Certify Authorities and the Certificates. This is the Certificate we are using and the PFSense uh, already provides us so we can access in the HTTPS or secure way and s the re revocation of the Certificates. Uh, the general setup, uh, I think that was everything, right? Certify Manager, yeah. Uh, general setup uh, we can go again and configure um, what language time zone um, the team uh, the theme the theme is right now is PF sense but there are others um, columns and other other stuffs about working with the, the system uh, also I availability synchronization that this is means is when you have more than one firewall connected could be a, uh, something like this you could you could have two firewalls okay each uh, each of them um, configured to secure one interface and they will be uh, I'm going to do this way and they will be uh, serving the same area instead of they will we can do a load balance and also um, also fail over around one firewall it's possible also to work with this configuration now um, synchronization remote access and other stuffs around here the high availability synchronization um, logout admin packet manager here uh, the community uh, give us the possibility of add a lot of package and right now we got some package here that will do uh, no, will provide a different configuration or a better configuration and better performance of the PFSense and you can choose many of, of those who are here. First of all just like let's no, n not yet let's go to the system uh, routing uh, by default, um, you have these routes, but you can also add static routes uh, and gateway groups. Uh, it's possible. So, uh, if you are working, and that's al also another possibility, if you have two firewalls facing the one, uh, that could also be another scenario. Uh, and if you want to make download or even one, uh, if you have two or three ISPs and you can also making uh, you can also make load balance and have multiple gateways since uh, if you have more than one ISP you've got ISP one and then you can have uh, a second or a third ISP uh, you can change the gateway groups uh, uh, oops this is good also uh, you can if you have oh again <laughs> it's great uh, no here it is you if you have more than one ISP ISP one internet service provider uh, you can have multiple gateways uh, so that uh, the connection can go by one and then go by another and uh, and another and all these uh, ISPs could provide you um, it's, it's confused but uh, what I was trying to say that uh, you can have a uh, multiple uh, gateways so then when the connection goes from your uh, PF sense, uh, it won't fall out if the the uh, the ISP internet service provider it's the not working or it's down, so perhaps. So um, where we are, 
pfSense uh, routing uh, the setup wizard it's uh, what what appeared to us after we install it we can run again the update and the user manager you can add uh, other users right now there is only one admin but you can add other users and to each user allowing to go to uh, some part or menu and do some configurations sometimes in school you can add um, a tutor or a trainer and say that that tutor or that trainer can allow is allowing to go to this uh, to interface so when it comes to uh, one it could disconnect one interface and the students or the class stays without uh, no access to the firewall uh, to, sorry to, to the one sometimes it's needed on the firewall itself you got uh, alias alias means that you can uh, uh, group ports where else uh, where else uh, networks IP addresses and give it a name uh, it's quite easy you've got not network address translation uh, on part port forwarded one to one outbound and multiple not and here are the rules right now uh, the rules for one there is no rule so it's not possible to get inside from LAN uh, you've got this three rules now this is the first rule that is anti lockout rule um, and this rule uh, you should never um, remove it or if you do if you want to access to the web page of the of the fire of the PF sense then you will have pr pr troubles you have to go directly uh, on the PF sense machine um, this rule should be always the, the last one allowing all the protocols to go out in, on IPv4 and IPv6 F1 orange nothing and F1 blue nothing also and the one no rule at all but since let's look at our our training our network uh, diagram now right now you have here the computer but is it a lot can he go to the one is it possible that he can go to the one so let's go to cnn.com for instance and it's possible so right now and this computer has only one interface let's do it again Oof. Uh, but this computer has only one interface it seems to me that probably this Windows is doing an update one of one Windows update that's it's, that's rare you some the updates on Windows uh, they are rare uh, rules schedules schedules you can uh, after you add a, a rule um, you can have a schedule when that rule is is going to be applied to uh, traffic shaper also uh, configuring by queue by interface limits and wizards uh, and you can have multiple LAN or dedicated links so you can have also um, configuration regarding um, the traffic shape and virtual IPs it's also possible to add virtual IPs um, to uh, the firewall service th these are the service that right now are working on VPN uh, no VPN is made but we're going to make at least one open VPN and the status give us the information about uh, the service that are running on and system logs especially here system logs are quite useful so we can uh, check what's wrong the firewall okay uh, this is destination where he's going to uh, IPsec captive portal uh, load balancer open VPN firewall NTP and other stuff so right now we're going we are assessing um, some area in Italia uh, I think they're going to be in election again and the spider-man and also Trump Kim uh so first let uh create um how can we stop accessing to cnn it's possible if you try to check oh, let me if you go to the pf sense 
8 and let's look here at uh, net start minus oops minus intp uh, where is the minus here intp and then we'll do grab where is grab where is the ah here it is grab uh, we'll find out about uh, okay um, let's do a more hmm? nope it's, it's not allowing NTP again ah there are some issues so right now saying this is the connection that is ma that we have made to our IP address of the client and other configurations I would like to check this IPv6 again where do I have TCP it's not allowing TCP connection No, no TCP. This family, which should be TCP protocol. Uh, perhaps minus F TCP. No. Protocol. Protocol family should be TCP. F and then TCP. I don't know in BSD how it works. Uh, I don't know the syntax on BSD shame of me. So let's try to do it on Windows. Um, let's start minus and and then more. Let's check. Uh, so on Windows we have a lot of connections here saying that perhaps this one uh, it's the IP address, or could be the pi the IP address of uh, of CNN. You can also check here. I don't know if he has the dig dig. Yeah, good. He has the dig question. So let's uh, ask where is it? Yeah, dig. Let's ask to Mr. Google what's the IP address. Uh, for uh, cnn.com dot com let's check hmm? dig is it working differently here okay let's oh it's the sorry not with the a uh, sorry uh, so the IP address of the CNN is on map it should be 151 one, one, 167 there is a lot of networks here but uh, suppose that you're going to you want to you want to block the access to CNN so you have to block this IP address so this is what we are going to do in the beginning come here to firewall rules and we are going to LAN firewall so we're going to add another rule here so the rule will be for uh, blocking uh, in which interface will be applied it will be applied on LAN address family on IPv4 the protocol will be TCP and the source of uh, is going to apply is going to apply to uh, LAN network so uh, any um, protocol that uh, is uh, originate from LAN network will and directly to wire to uh, to an IP address and the IP address was or is let me check and it say that the number 151 okay 151 can you 101 uh, slash what what's the other one 167 okay and the port is strictly to HTTP you'll say that uh, we're going to log the package <coughs> description block uh, we hope uh, CNN 
CNN.com. <coughs> going to block CNN.com uh, website. I'm going to save it. And we apply the rule. And as you can check, when he's blocking, he has um, uh, a cross here. And let's come here. We're going to clean this. We don't have another browser. We don't have no no other browser here. Uh, now let's add. Let's download it and install another browser. Download uh, five, uh, Chrome, for instance. Okay. Accept and install. Okay, I'll save it. Save the file. And let's install it. Uh, when you are testing, you should test with more than one browser to uh, see what's the uh, if there are any issues, any problems when you are working with those browsers, since uh, it's not the same for the same browser. So we're going to install this on Chrome, and then we hope that this is blocked. Uh, we have to wait. Twelve seconds, five seconds, and this is the the most simple and not most uh, more effective way to block a site. Uh, but this is this is the beginning for us to understand how rules on firewall work. So I think it's now it's installed. Let me check. Yeah. So. Uh, Let's go to http cnn.com oops cnn.com and is working. Why? Because it's trying to know the edition cnn. We have to make another edition cnn.com. We have to, to make another another dig. Uh, edition not only for that also we have another issue there so 167 uh, the point is uh, we only wrote and Chrome already begin to we're going to clean the the we're going to clear the web cache the web cache and let's clear up or come on man and let's try again but right now if you say HTTP forcing to use the HTTP protocol instead of HTTPS uh, right now oops sorry there's a problem here two dots HTTP uh, CNN dot com only one dot and what what's happening is that he makes the he right now is not blocking because he is um, using uh, HTTP and uh, redirect order on the browser so to block this you have to use a proxy and the proxy that we are going to use and going to add uh, straight away is oh we got here a site what where this this happened uh, so uh, we're going to add uh, a proxy service here so proxy and the well-known proxy is squid dot uh, squid proxy uh, I don't remember the site yeah squidcatch.org this is the site uh, and squid is uh, a well-known proxy uh, service service that can add 
to the firewall and to add the squid firewall so you can block by URL you have to go to system and you have to make packet manager and on packet manager and available package let's search for squid search you'll find out there are three package one is squid the software itself and the squid guard a software that will so use uh, also um, blacklists that you're going to download so first of all let's install squid confirm where you are installing please don't press refresh or anything and is fetching let us hope that this is that will finish fast and quickly um, meanwhile so here on the browsers perhaps we didn't do the right dig but this is an IP address we, we had also to block this is a good way, you could also block those IP addresses for edition.com you can make this uh, because it's reverting the connection to another place and I'm going to show you, you could have some alias here and adding all these IP addresses to one rule instead of just one, so let me check after and before we're doing this we're going to add all those IP addresses to an alias saying that uh, that's CNN we're going to block for no particular reason just because it's a well-known site and use also so it's installing right now and it's done good so on available package let's install again also let's install also squid guard now look when we also try to search by squid uh, right now I only show us two of them because the, the other one it's already let's go here service it's already squid proxy server installed and squid reverse proxy so we're going to install squid guard proxy so squid guard install confirm and we have to wait again Hoping, uh, but this will be fast, I think. How long is my video on? Many minutes? 30? 30? Yeah, okay. Uh, I want only to show how we use um, alias uh, and after uh, we finished and then we come here and finish the configuration of the squid so uh, on service right now you can check that we have squid guard proxy also so we have installed these three ones the first one uh, installed squid proxy server and squid reverse proxy and the s second installation installed squid guard proxy filter but they aren't configured yet um, on firewall let's go at alias and right now we c we're going to create an alias for all of these four IP addresses that are uh, that the DNS from um, Google said that belongs to editioncnn.com and we're going to group them in only one alias so we don't have to create four rules so uh, we're going to IP address say add you shall say that this name will be uh, CNN CNN uh, four IPs for instance uh, oh, without without dot CNN four IPs okay description it's, uh, IPs uh, of uh, edition 
edition.cnn.com type there will be hosts and uh, the IP addresses so right now we have to add here the IP addresses so of uh, I'm going to put this here so I can check one is one five one 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 sixty seven description uh, CNN CNN one oops CNN one and then add another host and the other one oh not one five two one five one okay and the second it's similar what class is this this IP address what class what B are you sure are you sure <laughs> okay if you are sure okay I believe you so 65 and this will be 67 and add oh, 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 oh sorry sorry you have to add it is missing one here add host and this one 193 193 okay 67 and just okay safe and right now we, we have for IP ad uh, address from the CNN so we're going to apply changes and we go here to firewall rules and we oops, and we're going to LAN and we're going to change this IP address since it's, it's one only blocking one of them ah another issue um, is it was only blocking for port 80 we can also uh, create um, and aggregate two ports in one alias so that's what you're going to do right now. So you're going to alias and you're going to hit to ports and you're going to say add and name. We'll say uh, web browser, for instance, web browser, Brow browser, uh, description, uh, ports uh, 80 and 443. It will be port, port will be 80 normal HTTP normal HTTP and add another port and 443 say that is uh, normal <laughs> it's everything it's normal HTTPS oops Blech. I made a mistake sorry uh, if I want alias and ports yeah they are here okay at least they are so save and then apply so uh, on alias we have um, for IP addresses and port addresses also we have group it and give it web browser this is uh, for ports and IP addresses have CNN for IP so let's go to firewall again rules and on LAN let's edit this rule that we have made it uh, so source will be LANnet and destination uh, right now we're going to be uh, when you say any sorry when you say uh, single host uh, when you say any not any single host or alias now here you can say it's for CNN for IPs and destination port right now you can say any not, not any sorry other and on other you can write uh, HTTP w what was the name uh, web web browser right so instead of writing all the IP addresses uh, we make an alias we have a group for IP addresses for CNN and also we made another alias saying it's web browser for ports 80 and 443 um, block uh, port 80 slash 443 so save apply and let's read 
this rule. It says that protocol IPv4 on TCP, source LAN net uh, on any port with destination when you uh, when you uh, go with your um, mouse uh, mouse button over the, the, the information it will give the information of the IP address for this web browser they will be blocked uh, let's hope that it's blocked so I'm going to clean again so clear that uh, I'm going to flush also IP config flush DNS here and now let's see if it's working if not so HTTP and we say uh, double double dot edition dot CNN dot com let me check and I think that right now is blocked I think I hope let's open another tab here and write HTTP CNN dot com and it's block it's not allowing um, you can go to other parts I don't know uh, double 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 you got tvp.pl for instance and it's uh, working translate I'm going to translate to see what ah, it's good uh, but as you can see uh, now it's blocked for cnn.com uh, let try a Google search here CNN uh, dot com. Oh, you've got CNN weather I didn't know if it's on the same URL yes I'm uh, going to block let's uh, check here CNN weather and it seems to me that's blocked okay it's trying to get to those IPs but he can't and we can go to other parts uh, your school is double 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 as zsa that uh, what's the name public pu uh, uh, what's the name of the school the URL zsc school I went to search zsc school okay and I don't know if it's translate. I hope this is a good site. It's a good site, right? Uh, yeah? Uh, but it's okay. It's not. Uh, it's. I know it's not your site, but. ZAC Electronic, right? Kelze? Uh, Like this? K L ah, Kelse. Ah, okay, sorry. Yeah, this is the site, right? Yeah, good. So as you can check the we are uh, we had no no problem, uh, but CNN is blocked, but this configuration is not the best one since it's trying to go to edition cnn.com and we have blocked uh, using the IP addresses uh, that the DNS has on when you make a dig uh, here it is when you make a dig um, and the dig is a good 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 very good um, tool he says that we have four IP addresses for CNN and we block all the IP addresses for port 80 and port 443 I'm going to stop the video here uh, since it's been and then we'll be back to configure next step we're going to configure uh, proxy server here to block by name so we stop